health on this Tuesday. We're talking about a type of breast augmentation that takes fat from one part of your body and enhances your bust. Sounds pretty cool. The procedure actually was once banned, but not anymore. To explain the pros and cons is Dr. Mitchell Goldman, our faithful doctor from UCSD. Dr. G, thanks for being here. Always good to be here. Um, first of all, just tell me how this whole thing works. This sort of sounds like a woman's dream, like take the extra fat from my thighs and put them somewhere else on me. And you know, it is a, a woman and a guy's dream because we can take fat from anywhere in the body and put it where it's needed. Mm -hmm. So oftentimes we would put fat in the face in order to recontour the face or if a person has had an injury that leaves them with a depression, we can fill that up. And so 15 years ago, we were doing it on the breasts. But then some doctors were concerned that if you put fat into the breasts, that it would calcify. And so when you did a, a mammogram, it would look a little different and you couldn't distinguish between breast cancer and the fat that was undergoing an involution. But radiologists are so smart, they are able to figure out the difference, and so now we're able to do it. All right, so talk to me about kind of the ideal patient for this. Who would get something like this? Well, this is not someone that wants to be like Dolly Parton or someone that wants to be really big. What this is a procedure which is ideal for is a woman that's had a lumpectomy or okay. a procedure to remove a cyst in the breast where there's a little depression in the breast so one breast doesn't look like the other breast. Cancer. We Perhaps. Absolutely. Breast cancer patients, it's perfect because what we do is we take a little bit of fat out mm -hmm. from the tummy or the or the thighs or wherever you have a little extra mm -hmm. fat. And believe me, we can always find some fat on, <laughs> maybe not you, but on I most know. other people. And then literally we take that same fat, mm -hmm. process it right in the office and inject it in. It's done entirely under a local anesthetic. It takes about a half an hour and the fat really works well. Now, sometimes it needs to be done a second time to make it perfect, but it really is done well and that's the perfect way of doing it. Yeah, and you mentioned you've actually done one of these. So, and it's a simple procedure, so recovery time, pretty quick for women, pain, I know that's always you know, an issue with it, breast it, augmentation. It really isn't a painful procedure. The recovery time is none. Patients mm -hmm. can go back to the gym almost immediately. So it's a very simple procedure. Again, it's not to make breasts huge, it's to fix defects, especially from breast cancer surgery or lumpectomies mm -hmm. or removing cysts. So it works really well in those situations. Interesting. Okay, last topic, Dr. G, is the Brava device. Am I pronouncing that right? Yes. This is an interesting device. It's almost like you would think it's from an Austin Powers movie. Okay. And essentially it's putting suction cups on the breast which expands the tissue so already we're getting some weird ideas out there right and of course women do not want to be running around like this because it's a little self-conscious but what it does is it expands the tissue so when you put the fat in it actually takes better so if you can find a woman that wants to run around like that it's okay if not let's keep it in the Austin Powers movies right exactly that's simplified all right Dr. G from uh, UCSD always a pleasure thanks for being here Good to see you that's gonna wrap it up for health let's head it over to Jamie